let us first start talking about what types of paxonines exist. So as we said, currently there are three types of Pax009. Pax009 is equal to your MT series 200, 201, 202, 203, 205. So all these messages 200, 201, 202, 203, 205 equivalent of that in ISO is the PAX 009 bank to bank. Of course, again, like we have in MT series and MT202 cover or an MT205 cover, we also have the PAX 009 cover message. In reality, today we'll have three types of PAX 009, PAX 009 core, PAX 009 cover, PAX 009 advice. I'll explain each one of them and we'll again have a look at how they flow. The PAX 009 can be used as a financial institution credit transfer like an MT202 or an MT205 or a 200 and a 201. It can also be used as a cover like we use the MT202 cover or the MT205 cover. And additionally, we are going to have a PAX 009 advice. We'll take take that separately. Now, what is the third one? The third one is a PAX 009 advice. It will have a group header and it will have the credit transfer transaction information. Then for you, it is identical to this part. Only point that the third one called advice is used like we have the PAX 08 being used in the cover mechanism in respect of a customer related payment. How that process flows and how it works, we will take that on our subsequent slide. So there are going to be three PAX 09 types, the core, the cover and the advice. Now let's move to the PAX 09 advice. PAX 09 advice is a pre-advice. So if tomorrow I want to make a payment to another bank, all the parties are going to be bank here, banks here. First, please note that the advice is used only when everybody is a bank in that entire payment chain. It is not to be used for a customer related payment. It is to be used only for interbank payment. It is used to pre-advise an agent of a fund movement towards the creditor. So let me start this point. So Paxo 9 advice is used to pre-advise agent, an agent of a fund movement towards the creditor. Core Paxo 9 will then follow this pre-advise actually carrying the money. So advice carries information and core carries the funds from one side to the other side. This is to be used when both the debtor and the creditors are financial institution. The settlement method here is again fixed to co or covered. That's why when we saw this example here, we said Paxon and advice can carry the cover as the settlement mechanism. Other Now having said this, before we go for the questions, let me first show the process. The process which you'll find will be identical to what we did in our cover method of payment so far as the customer transactions are concerned. So this is kind of a cover method. It's not called as cover method. I am just using the word. It is called as the pre-advice method. So we'll have the pre-advice method. Now, please note the debtor is also a financial institution. The creditor is also a financial institution. And this scenario is identical to the cover payment scenario so far as the corporates are concerned. So debtor FI can send a Paxo 9. This could also be a pay no one. So this could be a Paxo 9. This could be a pay no one. When it comes to bank A, bank A creates Bank A creates a PAX09 advice with the settlement method cover. So this is how our PAX08 cover process also worked in case of customer payment. And then Bank A creates another message, PAX09 core this time. And then it will move, keep on moving that core onwards to carry out the completion of the transaction. Bank E then has the PAX09 advice. Bank E also has got PAX09 actual fund movement. And then based on that, we credit the beneficiary. This is the way in which pre-advice and the core process is used to carry out the transactions when all the parties are financial institutions.